2021, man, I think we spoke a couple times throughout that year, last year, and uh, you never actually got to compete. You know what I mean? You were preparing for fights, you know, circumstances. How was that year for you, you know, when you look back now and, and the dust has settled? Man, actually, actually, it kind of starts in 2020 um, when I was supposed to fight Brock Weaver. I remember, I think, connecting with you and I tested positive the week of the fight and, you know, that was, you know, that was tanked and then uh, was in good shape, was trying to get something later that year. That didn't happen. Finally was able to book something in June of last year. And then, you know, that one obviously tanked and because of a freaking car wreck. But uh, yeah, man, just what a rough, uh, what a rough two years, you know, man, I, 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 I I don't get to do what I want to do and what I most love to do, and that's compete and to fight. Has has that fire, like, grown inside of you more because of all the things that happened and you didn't get to compete? You know what? I think I think instead of a fire, it, it, it kind of was kind of the opposite, you know? Or maybe not the opposite, but maybe less intense. It, it was... I have a huge a huge huge appreciation and i'm just very grateful you know like very grateful in the sense of what an opportunity man when when you get to compete and you see guys competing and you're not able to compete like like wow what an opportunity it is to be able to even fight in the ufc or even to fight in general you know and a lot of people don't have that opportunity or don't have that that chance to to do what they love to do, you know, and I was stripped of that for two years. So it was just, it was just, a, it's a very new perspective and it's, um, and, uh, it's, it's very humbling, you know, that's why I'm, I'm very stoked, man, for, for, for May 14th, because man, finally, you know, f finally, everything is good. The, the, the stars are aligning. Hopefully, you know, we got three more weeks, four more weeks. Uh, and you know, just, just really, just really grateful for the opportunity, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to appreciate everything that, that comes to you, especially during these times. You know, a lot of people are really struggling, and yeah. a lot of it is outside of their control. So sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. And, and that's what you basically yeah. did for the last two years, roll with the punches, yeah. still trained, you know. Um, the you know the car, the car accident, man. That Take us through that, man, and that whole ordeal. Yeah, so... June June 2020 was supposed to fight uh, or June of 2021 last year I was supposed to fight Matt Frivola freaking uh, my coach and I coach Cookie we were on the on our way back home from I think like Long Beach because we went to pick up some headgear and dude uh, someone was freaking racing or something but uh, it was a Ferrari speeding and slammed into a car an F350 which is a huge truck basically flipped over us and it was just like a pinball machine you know and um, you know, unfortunately, but fortunately, you know, I just, I got, I just separated my shoulder, a uh, couple herniated discs on my neck, but could have been way worse, you know? So, um, literally, uh, 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 the opportunity to fight another day, you know, like live to fight another day. And it's, uh, it's a, what a perspective, man, like what a perspective to be able to, to, to go through everything that I did, which is which is not as bad as what a lot of other people go through, you know? And just, you know, to understand that and, and just to, to, to be able to do it again is more than a, more than a blessing, you know? The, the shoulder you know I mean? and... Yeah, go ahead. You know, oh, no, no. And like you were saying, right? Like rolling with the punches, like these past two years was really... Uh, was... was, was was really what training and martial arts prepared me for, you know? And it's, uh, how, how do I stay calm in a time of when I don't get to do what I want to do? You know, how do I stay focused when I don't have a date? I don't even know what's, what's, what's near in the future, but how do I, how do I continue to push forward and, and be, and still, uh, train and, you know, so, um, you know, mixed martial arts really prepared me for these past two years you know and got through it getting through it and um yeah just looking forward to the future and really you said it again too like being able to focusing on what i could control right and what i could control is i could show up every wake up in the morning with a positive mindset 
you know, grateful for everything, you know, and, and, and on and counting my blessings and showing up and working hard, you know, that's, that's, that's what I love to do. After the accident, you said you, you separated your shoulder and herniated disc. Like, how did you rehab that? Like, did that take a while? Yeah. So June, I, I, I got into the accident in June. So all of last year I was out, you know, um, what was cool was you know, or so so you know working with Dr. Kessler here with the UFCPI and then back home with uh you know some chiropractors PT physical therapy what was really cool though was physical I'm a big believer in physical therapy now bro because that really just showed me so many deficiencies that I had in my body aside from the injuries that I acquired from the car accident you know like whoa, holy cow! Why you know I'm compensating on I'm compensating on one side with my arm. How come I'm doing this? So it was kind of like a really good reset and a good like, hey Frank, hold on, you know we need to work on these things. You know what I mean? This, this thing's been you've been you've been bathing this for years and you, that's why you've been compensating with your stance or with this. So it it uh, I was out for the I was out for the the rest of the year and. Finally, got, I got cleared at the end of the year to uh, to take on a fight. So you learned a lot about your own body, and you're oh. over thirty fights deep into your career, which is you know it's a trip, right? It's crazy. It's crazy, you know. And 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 like, like yeah, you know, I have to come in a little earlier to to you know, I'm not I'm not your spring chicken no more, you know. Like yo, I gotta stretch, you know what I mean? I gotta warm up. I gotta warm down. I gotta post stretch, but but uh. You know, it's it's really coming full circle. Like like the mar. This is this is re the reason why I love martial arts so much, bro. It's because it's truly making me a better person. You know, I'm more aware. I'm understanding my body. You know, it's like when I go do workouts, it's like I'm I'm running my body through a diagnostics. You know, it's just fight camp. Fight camp is different, right? It's fight camps, you're just breaking down the body to build. You know, what I mean? but even at that, it's getting scientific. But yeah, truly just understanding and, and getting in tune with my body. That's, uh, it, it's, it's unfortunate that a lot of people don't have that opportunity to, you know, after you got the injuries figured out, you're back into training. Were you in a rush to return back to, to fighting or did you just let things happen the way you know, they should happen? It's just like, if they come with the offer, just take the offer. Yes. and no. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, as soon as I got the, okay, we all I was freaking <laughs> bothering the mess out of my manager, you know what I mean? Jason House and them or like I'll always kinda like not bother them in, in, in a Frank Camacho way, you know. Mm. Hey guys, how's it going? Any fights, you know what I mean? Uh, because you know, I was just hungry, you know. Well, you know, and, and, and the thing too is like I'm not not only like did I do I enjoy it and I love it and you know, I I, I would I would I would fucking do it as much as I can, you know, it was also like a financial burden, you know what I mean? So, you know, I had to uh, not only, I had to not, I had to kind of refocus on other things, you know, because I have a family, right? And, uh, uh, but again, focusing on the things that I could control and it's waking up in the morning and just putting in the work every day and winning the day. That's where like, I picked up a lot of like endurance training, you know, it's kind of crazy because I, I initially got into MMA because I wanted to get in shape and I wanted to lose weight and I wanted to do that all by staying away from running, you know, but now it's like, man, I, I, I can see why Paul Felder is like chasing this whole triathlon thing. You know what I mean? Because it, it's, it's really, it's again, it's a next level or maybe not next level, but it's another level or it's another, another way of just understanding and getting in tune with your body, you know? Yeah, that that also, in a way, could be a martial art right there. Training for those, oh, bro. All in here. I mean, no, man. It's it's actually a full body thing. You know, mind, body, and spirit, dude. You really feel it with uh with with everything that we do. And I guess it's up to the individual, right? How they want how they want to approach it. Do you plan on doing like those triathlons or anything? Because I know you're into the biking. Now you're back into the running. I think what swing is missing. Yeah, um, so swimming's probably my weak my weak point. Even though I'm an island boy, you know, I'm I'm more like on the beach, on the shore, splashing. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, definitely, definitely, man. I have I have friends that I train with. You know, shout out to Joey Chrysostomo. You know, he he just fought uh he just fought like two weeks ago, and you know he just did a half Ironman. You know, so uh, 
and what what best way to to stay in shape you know uh, yeah they, they might as well just make one of those ufc iron man challenges <laughs> for the fighters and put some like million dollar prize for first place or something you know what i mean why oh, not yeah why not dude oh man paul felder will smoke everywhere <laughs> yeah well he's not a fighter anymore so he can't oh, compete yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> all right uh may 14th man you're back in action manuel torres contender series winner you know he's making his debut against you what have you found out about him and and his style of fighting well i, I know he comes from a really good gym you know he, he, tough mexican cat uh you know i've trained with a lot of guys from from mexico and bro you see you know it's their fighting is in their blood bro fighting is in their blood you know and this guy likes to throw leather he 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 was a he seemed like a wild man back in the day, but he just kind of he looked a little more cleaned up. Uh, his 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 fight in con, in the contender series, um, but yeah, man, just another fight, man. Honestly, just just grateful to get in there and 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 uh, grateful to get in there and showcase what I've been working on the past two years, bro. You know, like imagine out for two years, but like three or four fight camps. You know, so it's kind of like, oh, 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 what's Frank been doing? Has he been doing this? I'm like, yo, man, I've been working, you know, I've been working. You know, maybe I'm not going to go out there and throw spinning back kicks or like, you know, flying umaplatas or flying triangles or whatever. But, but like, you know, I've been working. I've been working and, and I'm just, can't wait to just go in there, man, and let him fly. You know how I do it. Yeah, definitely. Have, have you split your camp, like, again, part of it? in guam and then you go over to oyama yes yes i i started in guam man shout out to uh my what i changed uh this year was i worked uh i'm, I'm working with the strength conditioning coach ray chargloff dude like black belt at what he does you know um just man just just amazing uh working with a with a, a greco wrestling coach joe my friend jolo you know and um mangler wrestling and you know, with all the guys, man, I spike 22, purebred, jujitsu, trench tech, you know, like I, I've been working really hard, man. I'm working really, the, the guys have been, I've been uh, just so positive, you know, so positive with me. Uh, I like to say when I'm training on Guam, it's I'm, I'm, I'm just forging the sword, you know, applying a lot of heat, folding the steel, pounding the heat, heating up the steel, pounding, and then when I come out, and really worked with uh with with Timo Yama out here with Alex and with Coach and just with everyone out here it's they sharpen the blade you know so I, I've I've had a couple I had three of those four of those in the past two years and I, I can't wait to freaking showcase it yeah it's great to see the the attitude that you have you know I mean a lot of people when they miss two years and it's out of their control yeah. they they'd be angry you know they'd they'd be bitter you know what i mean but frankly yeah. you're not you're not that you're not that type you know we've known well, you for years ass is always half full bro and, and then maybe you know maybe i would have been bitter if it, it was uh if it was under different circumstances right but uh but like the last you know the the car accident the car wreck really just um just it was a very big perspective like changer you know because essentially dude like I could have easy like one little turn or one little whatever. Maybe I didn't put my seatbelt on that day. You know, like I we we could not have this interview. You know, career-ending injuries could happen. You know, totally. with, with car wreck. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah, see totally what you're saying. Man. Freaking just man, high on life, man. Yeah. Just high on life. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perspective, man. Perspective is a a huge, yeah. huge, uh, huge difference maker in in anybody's oh. life. Yeah, you know, and then, and like, it's even to the point where just really just thinking about, like, you know, I can't imagine, you know, I was I was shelved for two years and, you know, watching all these UFCs, amazing fights, you know, the past two years and not being a part of that. And I just always think, like, yo, man, what about those guys that, that, that did suffer those injuries that could have been the next, you know, the, the, the next dude, the, the, that next Khabib or the next heavyweight champ or, or... Or, or, or guys that are, are, are battling to just even walk, you know what I mean? Or, you know, so many different things, dude. And uh, um, the past two years has really opened my eyes to that. Yeah, and, and you're still in your prime. You're only 32 years old. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like you have a, a, a couple more years of prime 
Frank Camacho still left yeah. in you. And, and this two years could have just been something that allowed your body to heal like fully, you know what I mean? Like completely. Because I think that's one thing fighters don't do is they're not good at taking time off to just feel 100%. Yeah, you know, you know that that's a very that's very interesting because you know, like there's uh, like the I guess the turnaround for like an NFL player, right? You only have X amount of years, you know, and even at that, it's X amount of years, but you playing seasons, you know, so you do have time off. So, but someone like an MMA, if you get signed to the UFC, man, unless you're like a freaking Jim Miller or something, you know, like, but even at that, like, I'm sure he has his challenges, but you're. You're, you get signed, bro, you're on it, you know, no, no time. And, and, and I felt like that's what happened with my first few, four, first four, five fights in the UFC, you know, it was just kind of like, fucking boom, let's go. And it kind of just flew by fast, you know, freaking fighting all the who's, you know, like fighting all the guys that I did. And yeah, so, it, you know, it, it's a blessing in disguise thinking about it now, you know, especially after we're talking about it, just kind of just sitting down and just kind of like you know, watching and enjoying and, and making my body heal. I did four, three fight camps, but without taking the damages of three fi uh, uh, of fights for the past two years, you know? So, uh, yeah, so I'm coming in with experience. I'm, I'm healed up. I did all my PT, you know, so I'm, I'm excited, yo. Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, man, uh, it's great to see. And, like, what type of performance? You know, you, you know you've been gone for two years, so... You know, everybody has remnants of a memory of Frank Camacho and his fights. What are we going to see in this one? Are we going to see that 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 same Frank Camacho? Or do you feel like that part of that is gone? I'm I'm a new version. This 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 experience of two years of everything that I've gone through has changed me. I think I, I know uh, I, I need. I, I still wake up in the morning and I, 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 I still have that fire, you know, so. Uh, you know, the, the like one day when I woke up and I was talking to my wife, I was like, man, babe, I still got it in me, you know, like I still want to do this, you know, I still want to fight, I want to get gritty, you know, like, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe not, uh, maybe not with my hands down and yelling at my opponent, <laughs> you know, type of deal, but man, I still love the fight, I still love the scrap, I, I want to, I, I want to have to dig down, you know, I want to have to dig down deep into my soul when I'm tired and I got to throw and I got to finish, you know. You know, the, 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 and, and, and to get away from that, I think it's going to be detrimental to my fighting style. You know, if I'm going to go try to run and pop a jab and run away, it, it might not, <laughs> you know, it might not work uh, as well, you know, you know, maybe I can get the win, but you know, that's not what I'm in there for. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I, I want to implement my game plan. I want to implement what Frank Camacho does. And I've been working on a bunch of cool little things the past two years and i can't wait to just showcase it you know yeah man i can't wait either man uh a couple more questions outside of your fight um cryptocurrency you know it's like huge now in in mma and around the world and they also announced that the ufc are are going to be working with crypto.com to give out bonuses to to fighters every event what are your thoughts on cryptocurrency and what are your thoughts on them just giving out bonuses Hey man, I mean, if it translates into 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 value, bro, shoot. You know, I'm I am uh, I am still an ultra white belt at cryptocurrency. You know, I've been sitting. I remember when I got offered to buy Bitcoin, like back in the day when it was like I think only like twenty bucks, and I'm like kicking myself in the ass, you know, now because. But at the same time, too, I was I was I was a broke fighter, so you know, like twenty bucks was like, damn, that was a, that was like a. That was a freaking gas, you know what I mean? Uh, but, um, you know, like, I'm getting into it, you know, I'm surrounded by it. You know, got to the point where I just I just got a crypto, crypto.com account, and I just freaking put in, like, 300, 500 bucks. I was like, ah, let me just get, like, some coins, and let me just have a sit, you know? And I'm like, I, I honestly just need the time to, like, uh, to focus and to learn on it. But, hey, shoot. Hey, man, I'm, I mean, if I'm going to go from... <laughs> Yeah, throw, throw some coins at me, bro. Yeah, you know? for, sure. for sure. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. I, I, I think it's and I think it's the it's the future. You know what I mean? I know there's a lot of kinks that are being ironed out. You know, I mean, this is just from just from from the outside looking in, right? Like, but but I I think it's uh you know it's, or not I think it's definitely the future. P 
PTSD in combat sports, not CT, but PTSD in, you know, from like injuries or, or, or losses or even damage taken in a fight or, or even a weight cut. You know what I mean? Have you gone through this and overcame any kind of PTSD or seen it around you? When you said PTSD, the first thing I thought of was weight cut. You know, so a lot of people don't know. Um, I like the past like four years or five years. I don't. I never get into the sauna. I never get into the sauna because I almost. I almost died in the sauna. I pa- uh, one of my fights in the PXC. I I passed out, and luckily my boy saw me from the window, came inside, carried me out. You know, and uh, I don't even know what could have happened. You know what I mean? Tough weight cuts, and so got to the point where I don't even, if, if it's something, if it's to, if, if there's anything hot in my face, I, I have uh, massive anxiety. Uh, that's, I think that's what happened. Oh no, no, no. That's definitely what happened with Justin James. Like I was, I was just like two, two pounds off and I was already getting it off. And then uh, I shifted my body to where the heater that was blowing was blowing straight in my face. And then I just got anxiety. Like I, crazy you know like you know you hear people having anxiety attacks and you're like oh okay man it's all in the mind or whatever like no bro dude i felt like i was gonna die you know what i mean like or i don't know what it was but uh for sure for sure ptsd with that so um um every so the past few weeks i've been taking hot baths and i go to sauna i'm gonna go sauna like every week you know so i'm really just building that back up trying to do like hot uh just getting uncomfortable with the heat again you know and it's it's really helping you know it's like a process like therapy so so it's 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 not not as bad as it's not not as bad at all you know um thank thank goodness you know what i mean i i know a lot of people have ptsd like with like fights or you know honestly i thought i was gonna get kind of like a ptsd with uh, jeff neal with that head kick you know but I'm like, ah. you know it wasn't too bad all right one last thing um right now currently i am embedded with the fight team training um you know slowly progressing you know towards a fight in six months i just wanted to get some advice from you you know for from someone that's been in the game for so long and done pretty much everything um what should i look for you know what what advice can you give me on my journey Uh, how long have you been uh, doing it for a couple weeks now yeah how, how do you feel? Do you, are you are you are you feeling anxiety? Do you do you feel pressured? Like all of that, all of that. Yeah. I feel all of it. Uh, wait, have you been? I mean, obviously you're a martial, you're you're a fighting fan, right? Because you you know you follow it of and course. everything. Like I I guess you know like the um, uh, as 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 like in, in your shoes, right? Like, there's a lot of people that are different, but I think, uh, really just focusing on. On, on, on the process and the journey, mm-hmm. you know, like, I think that is going to be key for you, right? Because, um, you know, back to controlling what you can control, you know, you can wake up every day and you're going to wake up and go to the training session with anxiety, or you can wake up in the morning and, and have, I don't know, motivational quotes everywhere or whatever, you know, but you can wake up every day and just be like, the the uh, the approach to the training session like, hey man i want to man i'm excited to work with coach so and so because man there's this sweep that he showed like oh man there's this kick that i want to learn you know i want to dial that in and and really i uh my advice is to start the day with that po- that positive outlook on the process you know you know because i mean when fight day comes bro i can tell you everything but you're going to get fucking hit with anxiety and nerves <laughs> and everything and you know what you're gonna have to go through it all bro because that's what makes a fight a fight mm. you know uh so 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 that that's a whole nother piece of advice yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well that's but why i'm doing it nice. you know that's why i'm yeah. doing it is yeah. to understand yeah. exactly everything yeah. that and, a fighter goes through and and you know that you know mad respect bro because if there's you know there's there's two things that i tell people that they that i think everyone should do if they're capable of right one is everyone should go skydiving. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's the best idea to jump out of a freaking perfectly good airplane. I would never do it again, but I'm glad that I did, you know? And then the other one is is is, is the process, not just fighting, but the process of training and preparing and then actually fighting because these are two 
two big life lessons, man, of uh, uh, of lessons that you can get, and you can you're gonna truly feel alive, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna truly feel alive, like win or lose. You know, so so you you, you don't know what the outcome's gonna gonna be on your fight, but what you can do is you can really control the the mindset and the outlook every day, mm-hmm. and I think that's gonna be key. I'm just enjoying it, you know. For sure, I'm. I'm trying to enjoy it, man. I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can, but uh, yeah. but yeah, there's yeah. so much already in three weeks that I've just figured out, that I've just yeah. realized, and uh, six months, man. By the end, it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty crazy. But hey, you're back in action, man. May 14th, UFC Fight Night in Las Vegas. Frank, appreciate the time as always, and uh, good luck on the rest of the camp, and all the best on Fight Night. Man, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Nice to see you again, dude.